Our devotional thought today from the book of Genesis comes really closing out the book of Genesis as we deal with the blessing of Jacob over his sons. But my theme on this is the future of problem people. Now, sometimes when you read things, you, you have to begin to make some application. What does this mean to us today? Now, in our study, we find the blessings and the futures spoken over the 12 descendants of Jacob. Verse 1 of Genesis 49, Then Jacob called together all his sons and said, Gather around me, and I will tell you what will happen to each of you in the days to come. Now, there are two things that he says as he talks about these days to come and the futures of some of his sons that are very, very important and very interesting. One, he speaks of the future of Reuben, his firstborn. Now, in their culture, the firstborn, they pretty much, they rule the family, okay? They're like second father. And he says in verses 3 and 4, Reuben, you are my firstborn, my strength, the child of my vigorous youth. You are first in rank and first in power. But you are as unruly as a flood, and you will no longer be first. For you went to bed with my wife, and you defiled my marriage couch. Now, what would you look at this? Reuben, Reuben defiled his father. He dishonored his father. He had sex with Jacob's wife. So he said, now listen, you're as unruly as a flood. He said, you are no longer going to be first. Now, brothers and sisters, one of the things you had to recognize is that unruly people never continue in leadership. I watched in business all my life. I've watched men that, that look very promising with tremendous ability, but because they're unruly, you, you can never trust them in top leadership. I've watched young pastors come along, and you know what? They have a lot of strength. They have a lot of ability, but they're just completely undisciplined. They're completely unruly. And you can never put them in leadership. In fact, really, you have to just let them go because they'll never amount to anything. They will never be allowed by God in leadership because they're unruly. An unruly spirit denies future leadership. Now, let me say that again. An unruly spirit destroys the ability of promotion and future leadership. But then he begins to talk about Simeon and Levi, verses 5 to 7. Simeon and Levi are two of a kind. They're weapons of instruments of violence. May I never join in their meetings. May I never be party to their plans. For their anger, they murdered men and they crippled oxen just for sport. A curse on their anger, for it is fierce. A curse on their wrath, for it is cruel. I will scatter them among the descendants of Jacob. I will disperse them throughout all Israel. Now remember with me, Simeon and Levi were the two brothers who went and killed that entire village of people where the son had raped their sister. And then just for sport, they hamstrung oxen. They killed all those men. And Jacob said, you know what? That violence, that anger is just way out of control. He says, so they're going to be scattered. Now, Simeon is later partly absorbed by the tribe of Judah and partly just kind of disappears. But Levi, Levi was scattered through the 12 tribes, but they were scattered as the priesthood. Wow. They were scattered as the priesthood. Now, there's the mercy of God for me. What I want you to learn from this is you can't allow people of fierce anger and violence to group together. That is a bad barcada. All right. When you, you allow those people to group together, they are always destructive, and they always bring pain and suffering to people, and it's, it's a difficult situation. The way you hang, handle anger and intolerance and people who are violent, the way you handle those people is to scatter them. Now, sometimes when you scatter them, in the mercy of God, you'll see those people do tremendous things for God, because being scattered, there's no one to help reinforce their violence and their anger. And they can channel all of that energy for the kingdom. But together, you put violent people together, and you have nothing but a force of war and a force of anger and a force of violence. So again, notice today, unruly people cannot 
progress in leadership. And people who are violent and who bring suffering to other people, you can't let them stay together. You have to scatter them. Great principles of leadership.